What is up squad? Pino E here. Today was a pretty average news day. Nothing too crazy, nothing too exciting, but we still got news to share. Today's November 2nd. Let's get into it. I want to start with ComplexCon because I've gotten a lot of questions over on Instagram asking me what it is. The easiest answer is that it's a convention set up by Complex. It's not just about sneakers, but that is a piece of it. A ton of big brands will be there. They have performances by Snoop Dogg, 2 Chain, Skrillex, Kid Cudi, Travis Scott, The Migos, Metro Boomin, and a bunch of others. They'll also have a panel of guest speakers like Angie Martinez, Action Bronson, French Montana, DJ Mustard, DJ Clark Kent, and many more. And of course, sneakers and exclusives. If you're interested in going, it's November 5th and 6th in Long Beach and if you want to purchase any tickets I'll leave a link in the description below moving over to sneaker news here's a look at the Bape Reebok question mid collaboration the shoe features Bape's iconic camel pattern covering the upper the toe box quarter panel and toe cap are in an olive green colorway and it sits on a white sole there's no date yet officially announced but stay tuned Let's jump over to Puma and what we got up on the screen here are the Kix Lab Puma Disc Blaze Desert Trooper. Not sure how to really describe this shoe but it's got some pink fuzzy shit on the upper with some black and grey straps and a machine in the middle. Man, I hate this shoe. I'm sorry, I can't even try on this one. But if for some reason you want these, they drop November 5th for $150. Adidas is up next and what we got is a new model from the three stripes, the Adidas EQT Support Ultra Boost Prime Knit. I'm not sure why this shoe exists. It's pretty damn close to the Ultra Boost model, but whatever. It comes dressed in a full prime knit upper in vintage white and footwear white with hits of black detailing, a white plastic heel counter, and it sits on a full boost mid with a rubber outsole. This model will be dropping sometime in January 2017, and in my opinion, it's redundant. Up next is another Adidas NMD XR1 in a blue camel colorway. This shoe is built with a mesh upper with hits of suede on the heel and the tongue. We have a light blue cage with navy blue EVA insert, a white boost mid, and a light blue rubber outsole. This pair is dropping in women's sizes on November 25th as part of a duck camel pack. We have another Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 and this one is in a royal colorway. The shoe features the 3.0 prime knit in royal blue with a matching cage and heel counter and of course it has a white boost mid and a black rubber outsole. There's no exact release date but these will drop as part of Adidas's spring summer 2017 collection for $180. And last up for Adidas, we got the Packer Shoes Adidas Originals NMD Prime Knit. The look of the shoe feels very similar to the Villa collaboration, although it is different. This pair features blue tones on the upper with red and turquoise EVA inserts on top of a, now here's a shocker, white boost mid and blue rubber outsole. The pair will release exclusive to Packer Shoes on November 12th, followed by a global release a week later on the 19th for $180. Switching gears to Nike, we have a Complex Con exclusive with the Air Force One Anti-Social Social Club. This is extremely limited with only 24 pairs being made available and it's pretty much a white Air Force One with get and weird on the tongues and an anti-social social club stamped on the side. You won't be able to buy these but 12 pairs will be given away each day via a raffle ticket which you get by each purchase you make at the Anti-Social Social Club booth. If you remember these Air Force One LA from the early 2000s, then you're an OG collector. The colorway was inspired by the LA Lakers in a white, gold, and purple colorway, and it comes with LA stitched on the side and on the tongue tag. If you're at ComplexCon this weekend, you'll have a chance to pick them up then, but a wider release is expected at Los Angeles retailers on December 10th. Every year around this time, Nike drops a Pendleton collection, and this year is no different. Three silhouettes make up this pack, the Air Max 90, Air Max 1, and the Nike Internationalist, and all three pairs feature a black suede and leather upper with Pendleton Navajo pattern textile, blue branding, and a Vanketa leather sock liner. This full collection drops on November 9th at select Nike sportswear retailers. Yesterday I shared the release information and looks at the Nike Special Field Air Force 1, and if you're still on the fence about these, here's how they look on foot. Just a reminder, these are dropping November 5th and will retail in men's sizes for $200 and in women's for $185. And remember guys, it's a purse. Let me know down in the comments below if you plan on picking these up and if these pictures help you change your mind. You all know who Fat Joe is and on November 5th at 10am Eastern, his new sneaker shop UpNYC is opening its doors. 
The shop is located at 3806 Broadway in New York City and as part of the grand opening, there is a huge Air Jordan restock going down. I'm not going to talk through all the shoes that are releasing, but I'll throw them up on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.